so I wanted to make a real quick video on physically based uh, rendering in Unreal 4. So the kind of biggest thing with physically based rendering are uh, you know what maps that you need to make um, now as opposed to you know what you used to make. So the first one is base color. Uh, then we have a metallic, roughness, a normal, and ambient occlusion. So base color is kind of like what diffuse used to be. Metallic is a new one. Uh, roughness is kind of like gloss used to be. Uh, normal is the same as it was. And ambient occlusion is the same as it was. It's just input differently. So uh, on Epic's documentation page, you know they go through and explain uh, all these maps. So base color is literally just a color with no light or shadow information at all. So before you would used to put uh, kind of your ambient occlusion in your diffuse, right, and that would add kind of lighting information, but you just want just completely flat uh, looking base colors. No lighting information, no highlights, no shadows, no lighting, um, just straight up base color. So here are some uh, kind of charted values for things. Okay, so uh, coal, um, you know, is kind of the darkest material, and pure white snow is the brightest material. And then you can see that we've got some materials in between uh, forged iron, dark soil, uh, all the way to you know rough wood, clean cement, sand, and so on. <coughs> All right, next is our roughness, and this really uh, is what defines the material, or the most important map or input that defines the material. So here we have uh, two rows of spheres. The top row are uh, dielectric, or non-conductor materials, and the bottom row is conductors, or metallic materials. Okay, and Roughness is uh, on a from a range from zero to one, and in these spheres, uh, they start out at zero, and they go up incrementally. So the first sphere is zero, the next one is point one, point two, all the way up to point nine, and to one. All right, and this really just defines how rough the surface is or how smooth it is. All right, next are metallic. Uh, metallic again, value zero to one. It's either, uh, and, and you will really just say, is this pure metal or is it not? So it's really either a zero or a one. Uh, the only in between is if you have some kind of uh, dust on a metallic surface or um, uh, corrosion or some type of oxidization. Ox oxid <laughs> I can't even say it. Um, so, think about this is, you know, when you're making materials, um, if it's a metal thing, okay, um, it doesn't always mean that you define it in your material as metal. Uh, because if you have like a, a metal, a painted metal door, um, you're not, even though it's made out of metal, you're really not defining metal, you're defining whatever that top layer is. Um, so you've got metal underneath, you've got paint, and then you usually have uh, like a seal or a, a finish on it as well. So you always want to think about defining the topmost layer of your material. All right, next, ambient occlusion. This uh, has an input in the material separately, so you just bring it in and assign it uh, as a separate map as opposed to putting it into your diffuse in Photoshop and kind of baking it in, in a sense. Alright, so the next thing I want to talk about is specular, and this is kind of uh, probably the biggest thing to watch out for. Okay, so the specular input should not be connected and left at its default value of 0.5 for most cases. Alright, it's a value between 0 and 1, and it's used to scale the current amount of specularity on non-metallic surfaces it has absolutely no effect on metals so here's a chart uh, 
everything has spec okay and you can see the values here so if we look at glass and skin glass has a value of 0.5 skin has a value of 0.35 so they're very very close so really just leave the specular input empty uh, or at its default value of 0.5 and uh, you should be good to go alright here is a uh, chart for Unreal 4 from Don't Nod Entertainment uh, made by Sebastian Lagarde. Uh, this has, you know, um, it has those uh, charted values for uh, for materials, uh, for all the metals, and then it kind of shows um, uh, the roughness and uh, and metallic and porosity uh, from a zero to one uh, scale. All right. So next. We'll just jump in to Unreal, okay? And here you go. We have a few materials. We've got a plastic, a glossy plastic. Um, we've got gold. Uh, we've got kind of a, a chrome, a rubber, and uh, a porcelain. So let's just make a new material. All right, and you know, I'll just plug in a constant three into base color. Double click it and we'll just give it a, a value. And go ahead and you know make a red. I don't know why that didn't go. Oh, there we go. Just pick something like this. Okay. So there we go. Um, you know, next I'm gonna plug in a constant one and we'll plug this into roughness. So with the value of zero, right now, default, it's at one, uh, which is completely rough. Plug it into uh, roughness at zero and it's gonna be extremely glossy, okay? So it's already kinda starting to look like plastic and you can see if I take this value and start to drag it up, it's gonna get less glossy. So let's do uh, 0.1, at 0 0.4, 0 0.7, and then all the way up to 1. And actually, it looks like roughness's value by default is probably 0.5. Now, let's take a look at that. And then I'm going to break this connection, and uh, probably nothing will change. Yeah, so by default, it's at 0.5 as well. Okay, and then, um, you know, normal uh, is the same as before, and ambient occlusion is where you'd plug that into. Okay, so specular, uh, we just leave it at default again. And uh, so the last thing is metallic. Um, if I plug in another constant, plug in metallic, nothing will change, because we're saying that we're still, we're not metallic. So if I plug in one, it's going to say we're metallic. So what metallic does is metallic goes, if it's a metal, it looks at its base color and uses that as its reflectance value. Okay, so, um, you know, for instance, if we open up you know, our gold here, okay, let's scale back, and actually let's open up the parent. All right, so I've got um, just a, a map here that has a couple values. All right, gold, copper, aluminum, nickel. All right, and we can uh, let's close that. Um, we'll just plug that in for our base color. Okay, and then uh, under metallic, we're saying yes, it's metal. And what it's doing is just referencing um, this for its reflectance value. So if we go over to the gold, you can see that our highlight is that color uh, of gold. If we go over to copper, let's move our light over here. You know, it reflects uh, with this color. Same for nickel. 
and let's move our light around, and aluminum. Alright, and I've just got uh, kind of maps plugged in here uh, for roughness, and I made a little corrosion thing, and then our normal map we've just got kind of a rough um, normal there. Alright, so over here in my material instance, um, you know, I've got those corrosion uh, settings. Let's turn on. Oops. All right, and I can just take this corrosion roughness back to zero. Turn corrosion on. And as I start to scale this up, you know, it's going to adjust the the roughness of the surface. So, you know, if it's kind of a, a dirtier, more corroded gold, or if it's you know, really polished and clean, it'll be really uh, reflective. Okay, and then the normal map got a normal intensity here so we can make it smoother in the normal like that all right so the really big important thing um, you know is that roughness that'll really define the material um, you know for most of your materials that aren't metallic it's really just base color roughness and normal uh, and then you know for pure metals you don't have too many things that are usually just pure metal so really it's going to be a lot of this plastic stuff and just defining it with the base color normal and roughness alright so I uh, hope that helps and if you have any questions please shoot me an email